Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. Thanks so much for being here. I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are in this amazing world of ours. Every day I wake up just thankful that I'm here for one more day <laughs> and just uh, you know try to be gra grateful and have gratitude for everything that we have. I know it's sometimes tough times and all of us are going through interesting things, but um, at the end of the day, here we are. We're alive and breathing and um, you know we've got each other. This is a very powerful community and I really appreciate appreciate your support and um, yeah, just you being here, you taking the time. And I know from your comments that it's helping you too. And that's kind of what why I started 60 and Me really, just so that we could have that sense of um, the journey being not a solitary one, but one that we could share together and, uh, and help each other on the journey. But anyway, I help myself every morning by having a cup of tea. And I've got one this morning that I actually bought a box of this tea when I was in Scotland. And um, it was a, in a little uh, health food store and called The Phoenix. And um, in there, there was a couple of boxes of tea by, um, it's, a, it's a group, I've got to put my glasses on because I've got the tea bag here. It's hibiscus and uh, turmeric. And I thought, what an interesting combination that is because um, hibiscus is a flower and uh, the turmeric is obviously is a spice. And um, I looked on this and the company was, it's a mother and daughter company and it's uh, takaturmeric.com. Taka, T A K A. Anyway, I have no affiliation with them. I just happened to buy their tea. And um, when I looked in the back, though, there's more than hibiscus. There's, um, well, there's hibiscus and turmeric, large, you know, large percentages, coconut, cinnamon, licorice, orange peel, star anise, clove, and the magic ingredient that goes with turmeric is black pepper. It just ticks all the boxes and it's a really cool tea. And so I've got it here this morning with me in my blue mug and it's just a really, really cool cup of tea. And I hope that you've got something that is good for you too. I'm, I'm actually uh, on the second cup of this this morning. <laughs> So it's really, really been good. Anyway, hope that you're doing okay and that you've got a tea or coffee or something that you love. And I'll take my glasses off here and um, join the world. But um, anyway, I've got a story for you that hopefully will be inspiring. I mean, the title certainly was. It was How to Get Fit, Have Fun and Make Friends in Your 60s. I thought, okay, this sounds like a really good uh, topic because number one, we're dealing with lack of friendships in our 60s we people move on and we um, you know our changing context means we don't have as many friends in our lives secondly we like to have fun I mean this is part of the beauty of being older is that we can do some of the things that we love and have passion for and then of course get fit health is at the heart of everything everything at all we do so anyway I, I she says in her article too good to be true Maybe. But um, I think the thing here is that she's come up with some thing and in fact, some different ideas for how to get fit and make friends at the same time and just have a good time. Now for her, for Karen, it's uh, very specific, but you can do lots of other things. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Now the background here is she moved to Florida recently, a lot of you out there in Florida, and hope the weather's good for you. And she uh, didn't have any friends. She moved to a completely new neighborhood. And of course, within a few weeks, she was really missing her friends and her routine and decided that she was going to give something a try that she'd never done. And that is bike riding. She decided to ride a bike and not just uh, an ordinary bike. She rides the one like the, I forget what you call them now. I should remember, but you know, those bikes where you're sitting down, laying down almost. And I'm um, oh, sorry, I've forgotten the name. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. And so she um, said so the group was so welcoming. You know, they welcomed her into the new community and they, and they accepted her, of course. Uh, she was uh, pampered and loved and um, joined a Facebook group that supported their, you know, their meeting group on Facebook. So she had like constant uh, connection with these people. And she, you know, she basically got to know the local bike shop. And she went in and I think she actually bought a bike, but she she decided that that was her thing. And number one, it was keeping fit for sure. Number two, it was making lots of friends. And it sounds like a lot of fun. Actually, I have a, I met a lady in, um, in Scotland a few weeks ago. Her name was Susie. Hi, Susie, if you're watching. She's such a sweetheart and a really lovely lady. And she was riding a tricycle bike for women, for older people. 
You know those bikes that are like big tricycles? You see them in um, in the northern European countries like Denmark and, and Sweden with like baby carriages on the back. But this was like a, a proper three-wheeled tri tricycle for adult size. And I honestly, I really want one. I really do. I think it would be so fun. Um, and I've now that I've planted the seed in my brain, I actually see people here in Switzerland riding them and adult tricycles. So maybe there's another group that you could start there for, for people who love to ride bikes, but uh, maybe a bit wobbly. Anyway, she also she also talks about other things. So if you're not into bikes, and I think this is important, um, she has a friend who joined a kickboxing class. She says those tribe of women became her best friends and support. And there's something about doing something like that, like, you know, Zumba or um, or, or, or kickboxing or, or something that involves cardio activity that really makes you feel empowered. You know, you're not just passive in your in your um, exercise regime. And another thing to do is um, swimming. Uh, a really good friend of mine, Donna, in uh, the States, uh, gave up her corporate job. She she went back a few times, but she decided that was it. And then she she went swimming as a hobby. And now she's actually helping to teach a swim class for kids. So it just goes to show that you start with one thing, you make the friends, you make the connections, and then you're in a whole new world. And that whole new world has lit up a, a world of opportunity for you. So that's one thing you can do. Um, check out your local Y or community center, the YMCA. Remember that? I mean, they're still around and they really do organize community activities. So your local gym or uh, rec, rec center or community center, there's usually always something going on. And of course, we've got our yoga videos that you might want to check out too. We've got um, gentle yoga, which is for beginners, and also something called chair yoga. And chair yoga is for people who've got mobility concerns and don't want to get out of their chair, but still do a workout or an exercise regime with yoga. It's really, really cool. I, I do use it a lot. So another thing that um, she, she, Karen did was joined a meetup group for her bike uh, group. And now, of course, there's another, another whole community of people that she's um, part, uh, working with. And also, just for your information, I also started something with with meetup that wasn't so much a workout although it is working out we do walk a lot is I joined a, um, I started a group for people who love trains so people who love train journeys and every few months well, now it's turning out to be every few months because of the summer but every few weeks we used to go for trips um, on the to the mountains or to a town that we didn't know and we just take the train and investigate the best route and just have fun together and it turned out that I have made two really good friends from that group I mean there's many people in the group but you know of course not everybody's your your best friend but two really wonderful women um, that that I feel very close to now and that's, you know, that's important. Two nice friends in your life is, is a lot. So that's, and the other thing that happens there with those groups that even the one that Karen mentioned is that even though you start off with bike riding or kickboxing or train travel, you end up doing things outside of that. So my friend uh, Leah and I have gone to um, country walks and rides and um, just out at dinners and lunches and um, Brigitte and I went on a separate personal trip to, to um, Ljubljana where, she, where her parents live and we did all kinds of cool stuff just um, outside the box, not even in the group, but we actually, you know, developed relationships and friendships that were fun and we got fit. So Karen's not so far off here at all. Another thing she talks about is doing a trip. Um, if you're wanting, to, don't don't want to do something by yourself, there's lots of really cool uh, retreat uh, retreats for one thing, and also travel um, um, uh, opportunities. So, for example, Road Scholar do all kinds of bike riding trips. Uh, there's one a, a barge trip if you want to take a barge in the the Dutch um, canals, and you can do that solo. And then, of course, you meet new interesting people along the way. It's really, really cool. And so you can check online. There's a couple here that I wrote down that you I can put in the in the uh, article, but that and they're in this article too that I'll refer to by um, uh, by Karen is uh, healthyholidayscompany.co.uk in the UK, wealth a uh, wellbeing escapes.com or healthandfitnesstravel.com. These are ones I have no experience personally of them, but they're ones I came across. So you know, why not choose an option? You know, get fit, make friends, have fun. That's what it's all about.
So anyway, thanks again for being here, everyone. I hope this was inspiring and that you've got some ideas that you didn't have at the beginning of the of the talk. And just know that you're appreciated and cared for. And I really do thank you for being here. Tell your friends about 60 and Me. You know, women over 40, really, it doesn't really matter how old you are, because a lot of the stuff we talk about is so relevant to women of all ages. So if you've got women in their 50s, 60s, 70s, just tell them about us and we're really happy to welcome them to our world, to our, our sisters over 60 or sisters over anything. <laughs> but anyway, have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you again for being here and we'll talk again really soon. Bye bye for now.